Well, hello. In this edition of Green Fingers, I'm going to be dealing with the safe use of agricultural sprays. Now, I think roses are some of the best of our garden plants, and they do give you a fine display of flowers. But they are subject to a number of pests and diseases, and if we don't take steps to control these, they can spoil the, the flowers and possibly the bushes. So if you follow the steps that I'm going to show you, you should get good flowers without endangering your health. But just before we do go down to Burnley Gardens to have a look at their rose beds there, just remember that these chemicals are poisonous and that they must be stored in a safe place. I would suggest that you put them in your garden shed in a locked cupboard well up out of the reach of children. This is a small section of the large rose garden at Burnley. Always watch your plants carefully whilst attending them and doing other odd jobs about the garden, whether they are roses, fruit trees or vegetables. If you do notice any signs of diseases or insects present, early action will stop their spread and of course they'll be easier to control before the disease gets a hold on the plants. Here we have black spot on this rose bush. Black spot infects the leaves with spots or blotches and as the disease spreads the leaf turns yellow and falls off. Of course aphis are a very common pest of roses and other garden plants, feeding on the sap of flower buds and growing shoots. Then there's powdery mildew, another common disease of many garden plants, and it can deform buds and prevent flowering. Spraying with insecticides and fungicides or combination sprays are necessary if we are to control these pests. Always remember that these chemicals are poisonous. Wear protective clothing and rubber gloves, especially while mixing and handling the concentrated chemical. Read the label carefully and follow all the directions. Measure the quantities out accurately according to the directions. Then mix the chemical in a small amount of water first, then add the remaining water to give the required quantity. Officers of the Department of Agriculture can advise which chemical to use for crop and the pest or disease. And there is a leaflet available Control of pests and diseases in the home orchard, which you can obtain from your local office or by writing to the Department of Agriculture in Melbourne. When you come to spray the plants, use a pump suitable for the purpose, one that gives good pressure and a coarse spray. Thoroughly wet the leaves, both from above and beneath. Avoid spraying into the wind, as the spray will blow back into your face. The important point when spraying is to obtain a good cover, thoroughly wetting the plant. You should have no worry with pests or diseases in your garden if you can follow a few simple principles of using the right chemical, following the directions on the container and taking common sense precautions when handling these chemicals. Mm -hmm. 